With 2021 being his 10th Super Bowl appearance, it's fitting to go inside the mind of Tom Brady. In this video, I'll detail his mindset throughout his unique football career as a clutch quarterback, his unorthodox diet and training protocol, and how the man is an absolute winner. Then stick around to the end where I show you how we can use the same tools that Tom Brady uses to create his high performance mindset and lifestyle. I didn't have an easy experience. I had to earn it. My name is Nick and welcome to my channel where I help you carve your own path by building a high performance mindset. Depending on who you are, what characteristics come to mind when you think of Tom Brady, his calm and ice cold mindset, or his strategic approach to the game of football? Either way, throughout his long career, he's done one major thing that many others fail to replicate, be consistent. We're going to look at his mindset and some of the habits he developed from when he was in high school, going to college, entering the NFL draft throughout his long career in the NFL to where he is today. Going all the way back to the early and mid 90s when Tom was in high school, he began ingraining the habits of his work ethic that we know today. He was a multi-sport standout including baseball and football, but it wasn't always that way. It took a while for Tom to get some playing time and he didn't start on his varsity team until he was a junior. Not to mention, he didn't even start as a freshman on his JV team that went 0-8. Yeah, do you start with that one? You just said it sucked, so it did. From here, you can already see that nothing was handed to him. Over his high school career, he was good enough to get some attention from Division I schools to come play football. But he doesn't really talk about how good he was at baseball. He was actually so talented in baseball that the Montreal Expos drafted him right out of high school. They labeled him as a potential all-star. But coming out of high school, Tom had one goal. He wanted to continue playing football at the next level. After declining the offer to play Major League Baseball, Tom goes a different route and chooses to play football at the University of Michigan, where he comes on as the seventh string quarterback on the depth chart. It's hard to imagine Tom Brady as seventh string in anything. Realizing just how important his mindset is, Tom actually hired someone to help him with his mindset and approach to the game during this time. Again, being seventh string quarterback on the depth chart, Tom had some work to do. He eventually worked his way up to being starter his junior season and garnered all conference honors. Now his sights were set on one thing, the NFL draft. For Tom, he was not a sought after NFL prospect for many different reasons, but to put it straightforward, NFL scouts just didn't think he had the talent or abilities to succeed in the NFL. However, there were a few things that scouts did like about Tom. His strategic mindset to the game, his natural intelligence, and his work ethic to make himself better. Then, when draft day came, Tom was almost left off the board. A team from the East Coast decided that they needed some depth behind their starting quarterback, Drew Bledsoe. The New England Patriots drafted Tom in the sixth round, the 199th pick overall in the 2000 NFL Draft. Now, looking back in this phase of Tom's life, from high school to entering the NFL Draft, I want to look at some of the characteristics for success that Tom built in becoming the person that he is today. He shows major consistency in his work ethic. In all instances, Tom wasn't handed anything and shows that years of development toward his craft will lead him to a situation where he can display his talents and capitalize on an opportunity. He plays the long game. He doesn't concern himself with where he is right now. He displays that showing up every single day in the now will result in success at a later date. And finally, he focuses on what he can control, his mindset and his work ethic. Now this next phase of Tom's life, starting his career in the NFL, we looked at his role from a fourth string quarterback to starter and creating a persona. After a full year of learning the ropes of the NFL, going from fourth to second string, Tom finally gets his opportunity to be the starter. And this only comes after the current starter, Drew Bledsoe, goes down with an injury. In just his second season, Tom starts to create this ice cold persona that we know today. As a master of strategy and known for his calm and collected mindset, Tom takes the New England Patriots to the playoffs. Throughout the playoffs, he takes New England from a 10 point deficit to win their first playoff game under his leadership. Then a few games later, he leads the Patriots to a Super Bowl title where he wins MVP of the game. Throughout the next few years, they continue to build some major momentum. Tom would lead the Patriots to numerous Super Bowl appearances, including a back-to-back -back championship stint in 2003 and 2004. 
This further solidified his mark on the game as a weapon in the most pressure-packed situations. We aren't even 10 years into the career of Tom Brady, and he's already amassed an impressive resume. This includes multiple Super Bowl titles, multiple MVP awards, and consistently coming back late in games to lock down a win. As a competitor, it's scary to think that this guy continues to hit his stride just as he gets older. Now looking back at this phase of Tom's life, from 2000 to about 2008, here are some of the characteristics that he's developed for more success as the starting quarterback for the New England Patriots. He continues to display his calm, cool, and collected mindset. He epitomizes a clutch high performer. When the pressure rises, he gets calmer and performs even better. He shows what it takes to have consistent success. Tom is known for not being a flashy quarterback, but instead he does the small things right, like technique, strategic thinking, and staying focused on the task at hand. And finally, creating a winning culture. A team can win a championship, or an individual can reach the pinnacle of success in whatever they do, but it's a completely different challenge to create a culture that expects to win and only win. You can see from the success in just a few short years, Tom and his head coach, Bill Belichick, create a culture that is one that breeds more and more success. Now we go into the 2008 season and we enter a new phase in Tom's career. This phase is a career altering injury and we look at his unique approach to the game regarding training and nutrition. The 2008 season started rough for Tom as he didn't play in any preseason games due to a foot injury but the real trouble came in game one of the regular season. Shortly into the first quarter of the very first game of the regular season, Tom takes a direct blow to the knee. This results in a torn ACL and MCL, requires immediate surgery, and his season is over. Then, just as things couldn't seem to get any worse for the clutch quarterback, he experienced an infection in his knee after the surgery that further delayed his rehabilitation process. In a time where Tom could have folded under the pressure, he did anything but that. By amplifying what he put into his body and increasing his work ethic even more, Tom pushed his limits and maximized his time during the rehabilitation process. Over the course of the year, he was back in action and ready to make strides in the 2009 season. Now keep in mind, this is an injury that many never bounce back from. There are a lot of NFL players that once they start to have knee problems, their career is essentially over. But Tom does something a little bit different to avoid a career ending scenario. His approach to his training and nutrition is unlike any other in the NFL. Before moving on to the rest of Tom's career, it's important to note his approach to training and nutrition and how it's different from most other NFL players. So let me ask you a question. When you think of NFL players, what types of training and nutrition do you think of? Personally, I think of consuming a huge amount of calories, many of which come in the forms of steaks and potatoes, and lifting heavy, heavy weights to build this strong physique. Tom's approach is one of a kind and very difficult to imitate without an in-depth knowledge of how your body performs. He eats very clean and largely plant-based with cuts of lean meat sprinkled throughout. Sure, that's pretty basic and standard for a successful athlete, but what's different here is how in tune he is with his body. He's so in tune to the point that he will not eat certain things. He is a big proponent of keeping certain food combinations out of his nutrition protocol. He puts a major focus on eating fruits by themselves, drinking a large amount of water each and every day, and only mixing certain carbohydrates with certain proteins. He also won't eat many of the vegetables found in the nightshades family, like tomatoes, peppers, and eggplant. He also avoids eating gluten breads, pastas, and breakfast cereals. Now, after briefly discussing his nutrition, his training is just as unique. In a world where bigger, faster, stronger wins and heavy weights are a necessity, Tom does it different. He's named his approach the TB12 method, and it focuses on one major characteristic, pliability. Simply put, pliability focuses on making your muscles more elongated to move more freely throughout athletic movement. He puts his pliability to the test by only training with resistance bands. He mentions that this is the approach that has given him the longevity to stay healthy and perform into his 40s. Now, before we move on, let's review this phase of Tom's life. His injury, his training and nutrition, and what can we see as characteristics for his success? Number one, your long-term success is dependent on the small things. Nutrition, diet, and a steady commitment to rehab gave Tom an edge when coming back from injury. It provided him a clear upward trajectory instead of potentially ending his career. And what works for others may not work for you. Looking at Tom's nutrition and training protocols, you'll see he's very unorthodox, but it's what keeps him performing at the highest possible level. Finding what keeps you performing at the highest level instead of falling behind and fizzling out is crucial to your long-term success. Now we go into the next phase of Tom's career, ending a dynasty and charting into unknown territory. 
Now this next phase of Tom's career leads us to capping off a 20 year career with one team and one coach. In the final game of the 2019 season, Tom ends it with an interception and a loss. Now keep in mind we're in 2019 and his career started in 2000. Many fans were shocked to see that this long career for Tom was finally coming to an end, but it was disappointing to see it end in such heartbreak. From winning six Super Bowls and nine appearances, garnering MVP honors at 40 years old, and so many more accomplishes to name, he announced that he would not be signing a new contract with the New England Patriots. There was a lot of speculation about potential retirement or even signing with a new team. Then, lo and behold, in March of 2020, Tom flipped the sports world on its head and signed with a new team, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, Tom is charting into new territory here, and it's his first time to be under a new coach and a new team. But in making his way to Tampa Bay, Tom did something that he consistently did in New England that brought a fresh air to Tampa Bay. Instead of taking the highest contract possible, which he was completely entitled to, Tom left a lot of money on the table. He did this for the team to be able to bring in more players to compete right alongside him and help him win a championship. With the NFL salary cap, this was very important because teams are only allowed a specific amount of money each season. This selfless act gave the Buccaneers the ability to bring in more talent to compete for a Super Bowl run. After a 2020 season filled with ups and downs, but on a consistent path towards the playoffs, Tom showed yet again why he's one of the greats. Leading a team that hasn't seen the playoffs in over 10 years, Tom is on his way to his 10th Super Bowl appearance. This team is loaded with momentum. Now, after getting a brief look of the history of Tom Brady's football career, but more importantly, his mindset, let's look at the 10 traits for success that Tom encompasses. With these 10 traits, we can start to use these same approaches in our own lives to improve our mindset and carve the path toward becoming who we want to become. The first success trait that Tom Brady encompasses is resilience after a setback. When Tom faced his first major injury in 2008, he could have folded up and ended his career, much like many NFL players do. But he found creative ways to rehab his body, amplify his nutrition and training, and get back on the field to continue down a successful career. Number two, adaptability. Tom noticed early on in his career that lifting heavy weights and having a bad diet did not work for him. So although very unorthodox, he adapted his training and eating to fit what suited him best. This is a large part of the reason why he has had such a long career. Number three, his strategic mindset. From picking apart defensive coverages and blitzes, this guy is a strategist. No matter what he does in his career, he knows what it takes to get from A to B and how long it should take. This has led him to a career of consistency. This has always led him to be such a tough opponent to beat and always a step ahead of the competitors. Number four, consistency. He does the small things extraordinarily well. He isn't a flashy player. He isn't the strongest. He isn't the fastest, but he is the most consistent. Number five, Confidence in creating a culture of success. You can see that throughout his career, dating all the way back to high school, Tom has always had confidence in himself. From turning down a professional baseball contract to creating a culture that expects to win instead of hoping to win, he shows that his success is greatly attributed to a belief in himself and his mission. Number six, he's a leader. First, he knows how to build a great team. Then he utilizes the talent of each and every person to work as one unit and move towards success. Teammates have said, when Tom's around, it's time to work. Number seven, creativity toward finding success. From his unique training approach and his diet, Tom has the ability to think outside the box to move the needle further and further towards success even late in his career. This creativity is why he continues to perform better each and every year. Number eight, mental toughness. No matter if you're a Brady hater or you love to see the winner that he's become, you can't argue that he shows his mindset is strong through the face of defeat or negativity. When people doubted him coming into the NFL, they said his career was over before it even began. And then again, after his last year in New England, he was able to block out the noise and persevere. Number nine, a calm and collected approach. It doesn't matter if he's down by 21 or up by three, he continues to bring the same steady yet tenacious approach to the game. If you watch him play very closely, you can see that he's always a step ahead and his performance speaks to that. And number 10, he's a team player. Tom could have easily maxed out his contract and taken the most money possible. But this is one major thing that separates him from all competitors. In a scenario where the salary cap affects how much the team can pay out to players, the pay cuts he's taken to bring in top players speaks to his role as a team player. Now, he's not earning the league minimum by any means, but just know that he could take more money if he wanted it. 
he's earned that much. This is arguably one of the biggest reasons why he's the winner we know today. Now, I hope you enjoyed going inside the mind of Tom Brady. And if you enjoyed this content, please smash that like button. And if you want to see more content related to building a high performance mindset and lifestyle development, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.